Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to define this query parameters that is ID and price in our uh, API definition. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. In this video, we will learn how to add path parameters. In other words, how to add template parameters. I will copy this entire thing and create a new path. So we have to follow the proper indentation else uh, it will throw an error here product slash I am giving this as product ID. So this will be part of product tag where we will get a single product. I will create a tag. I have already covered the video on this how to create a tag and associate it to a API path. Get a product. Okay. Now I will assign this to a product. Okay, let us check whether it has reflected. Yeah, it is part of this product. Get a product tag. In order to create a path parameter, the keyword what we need to use is the path, like it is shown in the documentation. Again, I have covered in detail the documentation on parameters. Please check out our previous video on this. So here we have to give the name which we have defined in the path. That is the same thing. It should match with that. This is a product ID. I am removing this as I don't want this parameter in a template. And in the response type will be object for us in this case. Let me rename this. Again, our data type we can refer my video on a basics of Open API and Swagger editor. In that, I have detailed what are the basic data types available in Open API specification. You can follow that. Here, as it is not array, we are removing these items and we'll indent it properly. There is this error shown. It says that if it is a path parameter, then required must be true. Let's change this. Fine. Now it looks proper. Let us verify from UI. As you could see, there is this product ID, uh, which is the path parameter. Okay, it shows as a path over here. Uh, example is 100. It is shown, and the uh, we are getting the response for 200. Like this, we can create the path parameters. Apart from this, if you need to have the query parameter, then we could do that as well. For that what we, have, we will do is we will copy this from here and we will go to our path parameter. So after path parameter definition, we will copy paste this. Here the in parameter is path over here and this is the query. If you see on the right hand side in the UI, it says this product ID is a path or the template parameter but uh, price is a query parameter. So like this we can have a combination of path and query parameter and define our API definition. Thank you for joining us in this video.